All right, so I figured I'd show you just a really quick way to use Camtasia to make a video. I'm gonna use a combination of um, Camtasia and videos uh, to make this thing work. So I'm just gonna show you. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is just show you how to make a video quickly so we don't dive into all the settings. And this is just a video of me uh, in a video doing training. So let's go into here. So I've got this video here, once that's loaded. So what this was, was a Zoom call of me doing some training with Mike. I'm gonna pull this in here, and simple as that, we're gonna drag it in. Now we can go into here. You can see, if I actually just, uh, I'm gonna move this up a little bit, and I'm gonna move this a bit higher. So you can see the sound over here. I can hold my control key and just like scroll down and zoom. So now that's all there. I want the, vo the audio up a little bit. So I just right click and edit the audio. You don't have to do this, but I like to kind of keep it not blown out, but just a little bit higher so that the highs are just under the max. So it gives me good audio there. I'm gonna go like this, click to just before we start. And let's see, where does it actually start? There's Mike and I'm just gonna, let's just say, I'm gonna go here and I can click on this part, hit S, and S will split that. So this is how you get clips split out. So you can see that line that just appeared there. So now I'm up there doing something weird. Now let's say I'm in here and I want to add some kind of annotations on that video. So there's a couple things I can do. So that, actually I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna show you one way that I'm building videos is I'm showing somebody on a screen how to do something. So in this video, let's say I want to, I can blur out, so any of the stuff that might be personal, I can blur that out using this feature. Let's just zoom right in. So if I scroll in, you can see now on the timeline what things are doing. Okay, so that blur is right here. So you can see if I put this over top of something, it will blur that. So I'm gonna delete that. But if I wanted to spotlight something, so I do this a lot in my training videos, now I can say, hey, let's look at this area. So that as this video plays, you'll see it goes like this and spotlight something. That's one way to do it. I can highlight something using this one. So this is good if you're doing any kind of training videos and you wanna highlight a section there. So it's just kind of a different way to spotlight. You can do that. Or I can I can make a hot spot, or I can blur, I can pixelate something. But sometimes you might want to, you know, like if I want a spotlight there, you can do a whole bunch of stuff that way. Often, what you might want to do is add an annotation that is a callout box where you have some text that come over. You might want to use an arrow. I like uh, a bunch of different arrows. I might want to have sketch motion. This is kind of cool. So I might like something that they did. So in here, it looks like this. It draws a check mark. If I want to have, say, this one I like too as well, there's an arrow. So if you want to draw some attention to something, you can do this. And it draws an arrow for you here. So let's say I've got that. And now I'm excited about that piece there. But I want to have something that says over top. Right, so I can put some shapes on, I put arrows. This is one I use all the time. I use these color boxes. So I might go like this, and you can see there's tons of different ways to do it. But this one's good, let's go like this. And we're gonna go like this and add a box right there. Now I can make that box whatever size I want. So I might go like this and put it there and change to say, you know, maybe I wanna do a list. So I might go list number one right there. And I'm gonna talk about something there. I can change the font. Go like that, I can make that color, I can make that white, I can make the size bigger, I can change the background color if I want that to be say red. There we go, and that looks good. I can also add drop shadows to it and a whole bunch of other stuff. There's lots of ways you can play around with this, but I think that looks pretty good. Now I might have that come after the arrow. So now if it looks like this, I go like this. Hey, I wanna talk to you about this cool thing. Now I don't want that just to show up so I can use a transition. I could maybe want it to fade 
So I can add it like this, so you can see on both sides of that, fade in, fade out, which means that it goes like this. Fade, fade, all right? Or one of the ones I like if I'm trying to put some, some pizzazz to it, this glow one's pretty cool, so I'm gonna go like that and change it. And I go like this, so the arrow shows up, and then we go, boom, glow, and then boom, glow out. Okay, you can also, if you wanted to switch between a transition, if we split this right here, again, we could put a glow transition between two clips. So if you have different clips, right, now you go like this, and that glows between those clips. So that's how you might want to do that. Or you could have that as a pixelate transition between two clips. So this is a way to quickly do a bunch of stuff to switch between. You can play around with all that kind of stuff. We'll get into animations and things later. But this is how you might want to build a video. So let's go like this and take this. Let's take this video. We've got this. Let's say I'm just going to zoom right out. And let's say we've got this. We like the way this video goes. We're going to go here. I'm going to split it again. And that's the end of my video. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff. I can highlight all this, drag it to the beginning, and now this is my 30 second video. It goes like this. So I'm going to clip it again right here, just so we don't take up too much space. That one's done. So now I've got that. Now there's a bunch of stuff you can do with all of the media. You can do animations. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. We've got audio effects, visual effects, but we're not going to talk about that. I want to show you. This. So that's an easy way to take what you're doing, add a couple of really cool effects to it. Some, some of this, some of that. That's what we've got. There's the video. That's done. Now I'm going to show you the other tool that I use in conjunction with this because it really does help. It's called videos. And so rather than trying to create all your animations yourself, um, you can go in. So I have an account with this and in videos, I can go like this. Let's say I want to have a nice intro slide and I want to say right here. Actually, I'm going to use this. This is the one I'm using in my courses. So I can take this video and I can customize it. I'm going to throw a logo in here. One of the partners we're using is Book Like a Boss. So I'm going to do that. And let's say in this training, we're going to talk about step one. We're going to talk about cool thing. And we're going to talk about Joe Rocks. Okay. Those are the three things we're going to talk about in our thing. We can change the colors, but we do this. And we're going to hit create our video. Okay, so now we've got our video, a couple things we can download it, but you can see mine's already downloaded, it just automatically did it. And we are gonna go into our Camtasia again. And when I go to add new media, I'm just gonna go into the downloads and grab that right here. So what we can do with this, I'm just gonna take this stuff, move it out of the way, and grab this one and put it there. And then grab all this stuff and just slide it back in here. Like that. So now we've got this. And you know what? Might as well do a transition between these clips. And we're going to do, let's do a ripple effect. What does that look like? Yeah, maybe that. So now we've got. this video here it goes like this and it's got some audio now if we want to edit the audio here's something you guys can do you can separate audio and video now you've got video and audio you can make this do whatever you want and you know what you can do you can take this and you can control C and V and copy that and let's just say we want to have this audio over top of this video but real quiet we can do like this and keep it real low. So now, hopefully this plays properly. Let's try it. This is what we typed in. There's the logo. 
So you can see videos allowed me to just do this. Um, how do I how do I delete an appointment? Um, I'll go into your appointments up there. You should be able to cancel them. So now we've just created a video. Now, if we like that video, so we can do, if you see on videos, we can do outros, all this kind of stuff. This is something that you usually have to pay a designer to do, that intro. But now, using the power of videos with Camtasia, you can do all of your video inside, do screen recordings, do whatever you want there, and then add these like cool little features. Then when you're ready, you go up to here, you click share, and you can either make a local file with all your settings or put it to Vimeo or YouTube, Google Drive, whatever you want. This is how you can make some really simple videos that look very professional and you can play around with all this stuff. But I hope that helps you. This is a 10 minute way to create a video from scratch. So all you need to do is maybe do a, a Zoom meeting where you have a recording. Maybe you'd record your camera, use your phone, make a video, and now go in here and use Camtasia, use videos, and make yourself something that's screen worthy. Hope that helps. This is just a quick tutorial and the fastest way to create something uh, for yourself. Thanks for watching.